Hello and welcome back to the European Tour with FC Barcelona. Now since we last saw you for the Marseille game, we beat a Malaga 1-0, Sevilla 1-0 and then PSG first leg 3-1. Blau 42nd, Menes 45th and then Maciel, our outgoing centre-back, got one and Blau got a brace after Leon Bailey Score in the 23rd minute and then gets, got sent off six minutes later. So, did have a bit of a panic at 1 all, but it's okay. Today we play also sooner than the second leg away in Paris. Uh, this is going to be a tricky one. It is going to be a tricky one. Because it, we should win relatively comfortably. However, I don't want to concede, which is the big one. Uh... Brancadori is injured, by the way, so our ultimate defence is not quite as ultimate as it has been. You can kind of see where my where my slight concerns are, but that's not important. Uh, wearing orange and white. Didn't even clock that when I saw the kit. Uh, <laughs> yes, here we go. Also sooner. And Barcelona. Get the league table back up after our game against PSG. It knocked it. Uh, can't win the league today, but we can come close. We do need to win. Realistically, for these, I'm just going to sit back and wait for us to score. Uh, in the knowledge that it would take quite a lot for us to concede. Like Mbappe, Bailly, players like that. There we go, Anders Wagner. Heads it into the back of the net. Nice and easy. Let's just hold this lead. Till the final whistle. Yeah, no, uh... I'm going to say there's a lot more to come, because I think there is. Uh, Blau's had a very good season, which I'm happy about. Uh, yeah, no, it, it's it's important to have a striker who scores goals. Uh, naturally, with a striker, they have the hardest job on the... Arguably one of the hardest jobs on the pitch, but the most rewarding. Uh... Because, you know, being the striker, you get all the goals, you know. You get all the pundits, but... The plaudits, even, sorry. You get all the pundits. Come back to the hotel room and Gary Neville's wearing his mankini lying across your bed. Oh. No, uh, you get all the plaudits and, you know. But, equally, it's your job to put the ball in the back of the net. And if you don't, you can't win. You can concede and still win, but you can't not score and still win. Uh... Oh, unlucky bass. And yeah, no, no. Uh... That's just how it goes, really. If you don't concede, you don't lose, though. So, you know. Setting ourselves up with that platform is nice, and now we've just got to have an attack that scores 100 goals a season. Right now we do. If Mayo is considered our backup winger, we don't have a first choice winger, but he's considered our backup winger, then we're doing pretty good for ourselves. Let's bring off Wagner for Sergio. Bring on Ruiz for Blau. And it's nice having a really, really good backup striker as well. Uh, 
I can bring on Ablon Ruiz if Blau isn't firing. Sergio, really good ball. Alberto Miguel own goal. Milinkovic Savic, chance of four. Oh, so good, so easy. Barca four, Osasuna nil. It's a cheat code using Barca on Football Manager. It's a cheat code. I absolutely love it. I'm so used to being Bath and Didcot Town and Oxford City. Oh, I'm the underdog. Oh, and Reading as well. Sort of. FIFA's a bit different because it's genuinely in my hands rather than the game's hands. But, you know. The st you know, using a smaller club and going, oh, where are the underdogs? We've always got to, you know, up our games. We have to compete with them. No, we just got to, we just got to turn up to beat someone four 0 on this. And admittedly, on the league swap, there have been times when it's been like that. But we've still always been the underdog, you know. Hopefully, with Bath. Oh. Well, I'm ple I'm, I'm pleased. Okay, so we are now 23 points ahead. Basically, Real can get a maximum of... I figure this out. I do know this. You'll probably get there before I do. It's, it's 9... 27. Yeah, 94. So we're four points away from the league title. I mean, it's unlike... What? the? If we win these two, Real Madrid, guard of honour at the... Uh, the the camp that will be nice. Anyway, we'll come back for PSG. Really big game in the course of our season, and a tricky one at that too. Right, so PSG, they've moved stadium now. Uh, yeah, I I don't know why. What was wrong with the Parc de Bronze? Uh, Martial, oh, I just don't want to play him because he's not very good. Like our youngsters are genuinely. What? How can you say that? He's terrible. Okay, well. I think he's terrible. Right. But we're going to play him anyway because... Maybe if I don't mention anything, we just won't fall apart, yeah? Just don't bottle it. It's so easy to just not bottle it. Because PSG are not the best side in the world. Are we? Go out there and bloody prove it. First thing on our checklist. Wipe out that away goal. Maciel. Questionable pass. Skrinia. Into Ma Oh, bad challenge. Surely that's a foul. Our defence is so terrible when we don't have our proper back four. We're not considered in the legal season. So how come PSG make it look so easy to slice us apart? How does that work? I don't like this competition. I'm having to play on defensive because I don't trust us not to concede another. If we concede another, we're out. Just 
Just please, get a goal. If we get a goal, they're out. Oh my god! Oh, Big Bass, I love you. That was really good. Oh, Blau. He's not offside. What? How's he offside? Hold on. Lino, you're having a... Where was the linesman? That's a better question. Where is the linesman for this offside? As far as I can tell, he has the perfect angle. How are you calling him offside? How is he ever offside at that? That is ridiculous. That is utterly ridiculous. If we don't win this game, we have been robbed by the officials. Rule that one out, you... Yeah. Oh, PSG need another three. That's sexy. Instead of needing one, they now need three. Suck on my balls. <laughs> you dirty, cheating Parisians. Get out of this tournament right now. And just never ever forget who the man was who kicked you out of this competition. You will never, never, never win this trophy, ever. Go on. No danger, no danger, no danger. Never mess with me. Or my Barca team, or my Dickot Town team, or my Bath City team. Because ultimately, you won't win. You can try and cheat, you can pay your linesman, uh, but they couldn't rule that goal out. We are a million, million, million miles better than you. If there was VAR, that goal would have stood. We'd have won this 2-1. You'd be crying yourself to sleep. As it stands... Oh, wait, you're still crying yourself to sleep. But I'm getting way too worked up over this. Yeah, we're through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Deservedly so. And we can win that La Liga in our next game. So, because Real Madrid dropped points. I'm going to see you for the Champions League draw. We can end it off this episode. Win the Liga next year. Fun. Nice and fun. So an inter interesting spread of teams in the semi-final. Us by are the big ones. But then Valencia and Hertha Berlin is the interesting one. Hertha's a very interesting one. Uh, and one that we should win relatively comfortably if we got them. Same with Valencia. Bayern could be a tricky one. Is Bayern, please? Yes, okay, away leg first. Oh, thank goodness. I hate doing the... I hate doing the away leg second. Bayern Munchen. 
Ah. Ah. Okay. Alves Royale in the next episode, I think. Unless we don't beat Alves for some reason. Then we'll do Bayern Las Palmas. The episode after. Sound a plan? Good, because it sounds a plan to me. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I've been Rouge DC17. Please like, subscribe, notification bell on. I'll see you in the next episode. Cheerio.